I'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Without any further delay, here we go. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, including you. It's... <coughs> the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years... What would you have me do? You were a child. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. Go to her. I'm already there, Bruce. Right alongside you. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. 
Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. You really let me down, Alfred. I don't know if I can. <sighs> I understand. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. That man doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. Oh, it's just too bad he wasn't honest as well. He had his flaws, yes. But you more than anyone should be able to appreciate that he was a complicated man. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Don't walk away. He's making all the 
Falcone knows why. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. You owe me, Harvey, and now I need your help. Those are donations, not loans. You're not entitled to a pound of flesh. Hell, I'll settle for a handshake and a blind eye. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry, uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. It was nothing worth mentioning. Your friend gave us the whole case against Falcone. Oh, not worth mentioning, huh? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. Now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Well, if it makes the city safer, who cares if a few thugs get hurt? I care. That's not the city I want to live in. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Bruce Wayne, you must have some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. Yeah, that's right. 
Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. I could avenge my father's death right now. And there's not a damn thing you could do to stop me. <laughs> avenge Tommy? Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Watch it, Falcone. I still see some unbroken bones. <laughs> Tough guy, eh? There's not much left if you came for a piece of me. <coughs> Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <coughs> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Truth. How much of your old man is in you? What kind of son did he make? I need you alive, but only until I have answers. Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne seed. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. If you got on his bad side. Your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. I never asked for any of it. And yet, the money spends, doesn't it? He made you rich, but you still had him killed. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that <laughs> They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. 
issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. veins, still visible beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? The press can't seem to leave me alone. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's your cologne. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. 
You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yeah, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Skyline Club. Gee. 
Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? I'm going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Check out this office. Expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're on the hook. I like your choice of words. You know how to create an impression. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> Gonna have to try harder than this. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Look, back off. Now. <laughs> Jesus, man. No need to get all dramatical. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Seems more like he's trying to start a fight. But... Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our... mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I've seen his rap sheet. Just a string of petty crimes, nothing major. So he's good at covering his tracks. No one gets to his level without knowing how to keep a low profile. Besides, you really think there's another guy going by Penguin? The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce? Sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin,
Not done yet. They want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! We should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but 
If I may offer a word of advice, the whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. The whole city is already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Alfred, I'm not in the mood for a lecture. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah? Was that you? Deborah? Security! Oh. Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You think people will still vote for you when you've got no teeth left? I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies, his status, his fortune. What does Penguin want with Bruce Wayne? The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. <gasps> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! I want the truth! And I'll break every bone in your body to get it. You're insane. Just like they say. A madman in a mask. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Until Thomas locked them up. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <gasps> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <gasps> no. Please. Don't. No. You deserve whatever's coming for you. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father, it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. 
Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. I wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. None of that matters now. The only thing that does is stopping ours. The city needs you now more than ever. <sighs> I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly... Pl ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. You've got some nerve, Harvey. Either we're a team or we're not. Oh, of course we're a team, Bruce. Of course we are. Just... Not in front of the press. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's... disappointing. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. 
Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. Harvey! quite so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. And after what you did to Falcone... Listen, I value you looking out for the city. Really. People are terrified of you. Including my cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? Oh, I don't do the bad things anymore, Lieutenant. Unless it's on request. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. This is no bar fight. They're coming with everything they have. Good. That brawl barely had me break a sweat. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Well, we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, mass vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so fuck! Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages? I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. You'll do. Get out of here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. 
Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you for wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. If you say so. It goes first. Heads. Questions. Asking questions. Mr. Head, the, the, the subject on everyone's mind is the new Wave uh, Mental Health Facility. It's, it's a much needed. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My doubts are the brothers and sisters of color. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. And expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. And someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Candidates, take off your masks. moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting for Hannah because they can't be bothered to get a damn job. Fire my way and drop every Good evening, are you going to say? I really want to hear what I think. Oh, Miss Flora. Sure. Let's see, is it? We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage!
City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Well, that does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to make a little tidbit at the beginning you noticed all those black lines coming across the screen for the um, during the flashback segments I'm using the X1 version and that's got a lot of glitches especially in episode 2 I've noticed all the other episodes aren't this bad so hope you guys still enjoyed that see you guys next time next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, Who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, but for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce!